Shailene Woodley is the new darling of Hollywood, and E.T. is with her behind the scenes of her Vanity Fair cover shoot. Hey everyone, I'm Denny Directo with E.T. Now. Even though she looks like this, and can act like this, Let me just tell you that not being able to breathe sucks. Don't think Shailene wouldn't give up acting and the spotlight in a second if she didn't want to do it. It never was a big deal to me as a kid. Like, it never felt like, it felt like going to gymnastics or doing something. It was just a hobby, a different craft. I only act because I'm passionate about it. And the day that it becomes not fun anymore or something I'm not passionate about, I'm out. And I think she really means it. Shailene even considered quitting acting before landing her breakout part in The Descendants to become, of all things, an herbologist. She knows a lot about nature, telling Vanity Fair magazine, quote, I grew up outdoors, not really ever sitting on the couch. And she walks it like she talks it. She told me that she pretty much got rid of everything that could fit into two suitcases or a backpack. Even though she's made millions, Shailene doesn't own a mega mansion and rarely bothers with fancy hotels. She stays mostly with friends wherever she goes. Shailene is just cool. You just want to hang out with her. And she kind of credits her parents who are therapists uh, <laughs> for helping her be so aware of like how she feels and how is that making other people feel. Or maybe it's because Shailene once faced her own struggle growing up. Not that many people know about it, but she had uh, was diagnosed with scoliosis and she had to wear for 18 hours a day for two years. She had to wear a brace basically from her underarm to her hip. So that's pretty intense and like that she just took it in stride. Her recovery may be one of the keys to understanding Shailene, who definitely walks to her own beat. Shailene is definitely not letting life in the spotlight change her one bit. Tune into ET tonight to see more of the actress's interview with Vanity Fair. I'm Danny Directo for ET Now.